Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. So in this video we'll be talking about init method in Python and it is a very interesting concept. So first of all let's open our PyCharm and you can see here in the last video we learned about classes and objects and we took this examples took this example where we had this example of a backend game where different players were made as an object and we have three different methods to see what happens when a player is punched, kicked and if he wants to check his health. So we'll be coming back to this program in later in this video but first of all I'll show you the basics of init method and after it I will show you how you can use init method in programs like these. So if you haven't watched this video on classes and objects then it is the previous video in this playlist so first of all watch this otherwise you won't be able, able to understand a thing here. So first watch my video on classes and objects and then come to this video. So an init method is a method which is automatically called whenever an object is created for a class. So to understand it let's make a class first of all. So just write class and let's name it let's say info. And here let's create an init method. So to create an init method you have to write def space and you have to name it underscore underscore init underscore underscore. That's it. So that's how you make an init method you have to write two underscore init and then two underscores again and let's print um let's say object created so whenever this function is called whenever this init method is called object created will be printed and let's make another method let's name it let's say first and it will print uh, i am the first method so as simple as that so we have a class with two methods in it and the other one is first and let's make an object for this class now. So let's make an object called let's say x is equals to info and now x is an object of class info but as you all can see on your screen I haven't called any of the method I have made. I haven't called the init method and I have also not called the first method but still when I will execute the program object created is printed. So that's the beauty of init method it is automatically called as soon as we have made an object. So if this object was not made and then we execute this program then nothing is printed but as soon as an object is created then object created will be printed. So whenever an object is made for any class then init method of that class will be automatically executed and it will be executed every time an object is made for that class. So let's say we have another object name let's say y and now when I will execute this program this init method will be first executed for x then again executed for y so object created is printed twice so let's say we have another object let's say z and now it is executed three times so if we have let's say 100 objects then all the 100 times init method will be executed automatically as soon as an object is created and in order to call this first method we all know that we can simply write x dot first we have learned this in classes and, classes and objects video you can see as soon as I called x dot first I am the first method was also printed. But now the question is why is this init method useful? So now we'll be taking the example that we took in the last video of this backend working of a game and I'll be explaining you how you can use it use the init method in this program. So first of all let's just quickly recall what's happening in this program and if you haven't watched this video on classes and objects first of all just watch that video otherwise you won't be able to understand what's happening here. So first of all we made a class called players then initially health was equal to 10 then we had a method called punch which printed it hurts whenever this method punch was called it prints it hurts and reduces the health by 3. Then we had another method which prints ouch and reduces the health by 5 and we have this check health method the third method which says if the health is less than or equal to 0 it will print dead otherwise it will just print how much health is remaining. And we have called this check health function inside punch and kick so every time a player is punched or kicked it will check health of that player after after the player is punched or kicked. And finally in this program we have made two objects or we can say two players named player1 and player2. Then player1 first of all check his initial health. Then player1 is punched then player2 is kicked and player2 is kicked again. So when I will execute this program oh my bad. So now I have executed this program. So first of all it checked health of initial health of player1 it was 10. Then player1 was punched so it printed it hurt 7 health is left. Then player2 was kicked it printed out 5 health is left then it again player 2 was again kicked it print, printed ouch and then the player 2 was dead. And now let's say we don't call any of these methods here. So let's comment it out. 
So we are not calling any of the method for these objects. And now when I will execute this program, as you can see, there is no output. So now we'll be using init method. So let's say we have an init method inside our class players define uh, init and it will just print a player created every time an object is created so every time up an object is created it will print that one player is created or it will just print player created so now when i will execute this program you can see i haven't called any of the methods available but still every time an object is made it prints player created so this is good for a game let's say we have three players now three players have joined the game so it will print for the third player again let's call this class and again it will print player created so now three players are a part of our game and finally when i will use these methods also here so uncomment them and now when i will execute this program as you can see three players were created and then different methods were called so let's say we have third player here and we just made the third player once player one was punched so now when i have executed this program you can see player created player cricket created then player one was punched and after it another player was created so this is how it works so every time an object is created it automatically calls the init function and in this i have shown you two examples of how it works so if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section i'll try my best to help you out and if you like this video then please leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one